Namaskar. When we talk about art, the one word that comes synonymous with the word art is change. Something that is fluid, something that keeps changing its format. What we need to do is focus on art in connection to time. Now just like art, time also never stands still for anybody ever. So what it means is art and time together flow. And the best way to flow with the art or be with the times as we say is to actually tag along. Accept the changes that are happening in the world around us and within us. Now these days lately, these two seasons have been rather very difficult for many people all over the globe. The pandemic has hurt in a way almost every industry, every living being, every person around us. Some have managed to survive. Some have had difficulties. Now for those who have had difficulties, another way of looking at it is this was the trying and testing period where your art within you, no matter who you are and what profession you're in, the changes that were required, you are then adapting yourself to that change. I myself have seen so many people who were so rigid about certain things in life, but during the COVID-19, COVID during this pandemic, have grasped to new ways of looking at life. And somehow, arts has benefited a lot. This is my belief, my faith. Why? Because many of us were stuck in tradition. And for me, and for many people like me, tradition is something that goes in transition. Now, transition naturally means something that is going to be fluid and something that is going to change. So I request those who are still thinking about bringing in drastic changes in their lives to perhaps shelve it just for a moment and try something new. Try something that energizes you, that challenges you to give you the feel of being a new person. This newness is going to add to you, not just to you, but to the people around you because they will see those changes and perhaps mold themselves according to the changes that have come within you. Learn Kathak Online, Nati Sutra Online, all these are the portals, the e-platforms through which you and I, my dear, dear viewers, have been connecting. Social media has been something that we have tagged along with and that is how we have come to you. We are now planning to have some live sessions. Now, this is not because it was our idea, it was your idea, to be honest. We've got so many requests, so many emails bombarded with requests to have such a program for you. Is why the entire Nati Sutra and Learn Kathak online admin people, the technical team has got together to liaise with you and have asked me to program certain structured projects where we can talk about dance at a more convenient and a long and there is longevity in training. Why we feel so or rather why you have asked this is because sometimes to express something in a very static way, in a sthai way, in a very frozen or fixed way becomes difficult in the sense that the change that I was talking about was not possible to bring up to you. So now we are going to incorporate a lot of Sanchari into our pieces. Now the Sancharis will be in both the aspects of the classical dance form, in the technique as well as in the Abhinaya. Okay? Now the first program that we are now launching is called a Tumri. Tumri literally means comes from the word tumakna, which means to move. See, once again, we are talking about movement, right? So this project that we are now doing is Abhindadin Maharaj's Tumri, 
that he had written on the love play between Radha and Krishna. Now it's a very age old story and the incident somehow this duo somehow brings in one and only element of romance. So anybody with the Indian connotation thinks about romance, somehow it goes back to Radha Krishna, the universal duo that depict Shringara in all its moves. But Shringar cannot just be stated in one single line. Say in the Tumri, you have a single line and the Tumri that I'm going to share with you is Kanha me to se hari chodo sari. Just six words. Kanha me to se hari chodo sari. Kanha Krishna me me to se you hari I give up chodo leave my sari. So this is just six words that we are going to explore. Now if I was to just do it as I was doing this, Kanha, Meto se Hari, Choro Sari. That's it, right? Finish. The sentence is done. But supposing we were to give more options, in once we show Kanha like this, the other time we show Kanha like that, or then we say Kanha, or Kanha, or Kana. There are many ways that you can show Kana. Me, me, you can be arrogant about me, me, or you could be, what do I do? Me, or you could say, me, looking for him, or you could say, me, scared. Whichever notion or emotion you are feeling, you can then replace that me. Tose, the third word. Tose could be him or Tose, 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 you're surprised? What is wrong with you? Or just, I love you so much, Tose, I can't give up. I just can't give you up. Tose, Hari, I give up. Or Hari, don't come close. Or Hari, go away. Or, Hari, what do you want? It depends what is there in you. So these are little words. You have to intelligently, intellectually make your sentence. That sentence depends on nobody but you. Because you are the artist. Why I say so? Is because if you have a piece of poetry, this has happened with me. I read a piece of poetry in the morning and it perhaps means something to me and the same piece of poetry I read it in the evening it has an entirely different connotation and meaning to myself may I read it after a few days it means something entirely different so many a times I write down how I feel because the same piece of poetry the same piece of literature or sahitya means something different to me at a different stage of time season age all these things matter for example, just to elaborate what I'm trying to say, in the Natya Shastra, you have the three, seg three types of heroines. The one who is very innocent and knows nothing about love. There's another one who understands love but still has more to grow with it. And the third, who is an expert in understanding the cycle of love. Say we were taking one Naika, Vasak Sajja for all you may. Vasak suggests someone who adorns herself and adorns the area where she would be meeting her beloved. Now if this is a young girl, let's take um, a piece of jewellery, let's say earrings. Any woman getting dressed will definitely change her and check, guaranteed. Any country, any nation, any race, right? We women are quite particular about our earrings, whether they are matching, whether they are not, stuff like that. So let's take the earrings. So a young girl would probably wear something and say, is this nice or is this nice? No, where is the one that I really like? Uh, this one is nice. Which is better? Where? I don't like any. What should I do? So she's 
still experimenting, exploring to see which kind of earrings she likes the most. Then in the medium, the lady who understands love has a beloved who, to whom she is trying to impress. She would probably wear one that is heavy and put it, it would hurt, perhaps may hurt, but would still take the effort to wear it, see how it goes, look at herself in the mirror and may think that, uh, but maybe I'll wear the one that he got for me because this piece of jewellery has a history to it. This is why she would probably wear it and feel a little bit more confident that if my beloved sees me in these new earrings, might impress him more. The third one, who understands love, who, who has a different dimension to her relationship with her beloved, would probably look at herself and then say, do I need it? No, I don't. It's my individuality. My perception, my concept, my confidence in me that is more alluring to him. And I don't need it. It's my anger that goes within me that brings out the passion in me. So what I'm saying is that learning Abhinay is, is a transient thing. I cannot teach you something in one go. So let's explore. Let's see how we can take it forward, how we can bring it together. All those who are interested to understand more about Abhinay are welcome. Now you don't necessarily have to belong to one particular dance form. Anyone can join in. Age again. How much you'll be able to receive and absorb depends on you, but you're most welcome to come and explore. All the details are already given below, so let's meet again and see how far we can go with the transient way of dealing with that. Thank you. <laughs>